Hello ladies and gentlemen and welcome once more to Roar for it. So, as we continue into the Tau Seti system, we are um, on the lookout for anything that looks funky. It does occur to me that our active sense of range just looks absolutely bloody pathetic. Where, ah, uh, it's far too small. Far, far too small. Well, it'll do, it'll do. Let's take a look at the events. Uh, production, yes. So, really, our priorities were the, um, enforcing the surrender of, uh, the Ancolica Prime. We should be within reach, within, I don't know, maybe a few months, maybe up to a year, we might have enough troops on the planet to actually enforce the surrender, and to enforce the will of the UNSC collective upon the planet, and, uh, so begin a new phase of colonization in the UNSC's history. It will be a fantastic world to take advantage of all those materials and minerals. Hopefully we can gain control of those installations on the planet as well. Now I still have no idea what kind of installations are on the planet. I've no idea what kind of uh, mines they have, like are they automated or pre transitonian mining complexes, that sort of thing, you know? No idea. Absolutely none. I don't think they have anything in orbit, because we know they're pretty much pre non well, trans-Newtonian. Uh, conventional is what I'm looking for. Okay. Once um, Aurora 7.2 comes out, I am really looking forward to being able to turn off the civilians. It should help out with performance a little bit, which is what I want. Okay, so what orders did we give the fleet? I believe we gave them orders to head towards the center of the system. Yes, that sounds fine. Okay, good. Hmm. We're working on quite a few research projects over here. I think I'm going to take some away from here, just so we can have these guys gain some experience. Which sounds good to me. right -o. Now, we did experience um, contact with that scout around this area, did we not? It was kind of in this area. Which does lead me to uh, imagine that the scouts actually have um, far superior sensors than we do in the home fleet. Which would make a lot of sense, considering they are... I don't know, how fast did it move? Did it move at 9,000 kilometers again? I can't quite remember. I don't think it was that fast. It's been a long time since uh, that contact, actually, so I cannot remember. Either way, we're going to head towards the inner system, and then we can send some system uh, exploration ships, and try and discover what's so interesting about this system. There's a good number of planets and moons within the central solar system, well, the inner sector of the solar system here. Which would be pretty decent. Uh, what I'd like to find is potentially more minerals. Right, okay. New vessel has been created, fair enough. Hmm. Not the longest time span there. I wanted uh, something a bit longer to go on there. Right, so we've completed the Lorica segment heart on Earth, fair enough. Sol. Right, summary. Is it here, or will it show here? Hmm. I suppose it doesn't show here, unless I'm just missing it, which is more, well, more than likely. But if we take a look at uh, task groups, we should be able to find it. Okay. Is it under shipyard? Hmm. We have the Argos in the shipyard, our new gate building ship. Right, the missile base. So we have three hoplons here. But where's the Lurika Segmentata? Hmm. I 
I must be missing this. Hmm, clearly. Ah. Uh. Hmm. Right, there we go. Prefabricated the components. So now we'd have to assemble one. But we won't do that. I could do with having the transit group, actually. So, Lubricol, our new uh, jewel. Right, let's let the task group over here. We'll send them back to Earth where they can refuel, and then they can carry the... Um, as well as some construction factories, why not? Uh, if we have some construction... Nah, nah, nah. Nah, we'll leave the construction... Mm, maybe. Yeah, we'll leave them. We'll leave them. Okay, so I want you to go to Earth. Refuel, resupply. As well as unload your construction factories. There we go. Yes, yeah, so we're going to have these guys take the PDC components... Hmm, then again, I'm going to need those construction factories, aren't I, to actually assemble the bugger. That's the equivalent to about 15 battalions of construction brigade, so, uh, well, construction battalions, so I think I'll keep them on board, actually. There we go. And, uh, load PDC components, the Lurica Segmentata components, that should be good. Right then, fantastic. Meanwhile, we have our exploration of the Tau Seti system. Right. So we do have the Terrarii's and the Hastartes. Ah, we could do with having a longer ranged uh, fire control or ASM. That would really be helpful. I mean, is a hundred million kilometers sufficient range? I'd like to have something with uh, range much of the excess of that, but of course we need to have sensors capable of detecting that far out anyway. Otherwise, it's just a complete waste if we have that range, but yet we can't fire it. And having something that can go 200 million kilometers is going to rapid, well, drastically affect the design process. We'd have to uh, decrease the size of the warhead, the speed would be decreased as we have to divert more of the weight towards fuel. Which is very inefficient, really. We'll get there once we have the better engine technology, or possibly more fuel-efficient engines. We'll find out. In time. Ah, there you are! Ah, lovely to see you again, my friend! Lovely. Right. Soldat. That's an 8200 class ship. That's a different beast to what we found last time, is it not? It definitely belongs to the same species. Hmm. No EM contact, no thermal contact. Right, we do have it on fur well, we do have it on actives, okay. Contacts! Straight ahead. Move to. Okay. Let's make sure we're live here. Right, area PD, area PD. PD, PD. PD, PD. PD, PD. Right, there's no targets here. Though we are ready to fire. Right, area PD. 1000, however. Uh, what is the range of them again? Was it like, um... It was about 300, wasn't it? They had about 3 million range, so... Yeah, kinda. It was something in that range. 
We'll have it down to that anyway. I don't want them wasting missiles. Especially the new reeds. We don't have that many of them. Okay. Now, we're going to see if things change up. If we start seeing the increments, well, reduced down to about 10 seconds or less, then we know the enemy is launching a missile barrage at us. Which will be rather annoying, because it's going to take me a hell of a long time to beat my way through it. But we'll find out. I need to understand what kind of speed I'm going against here. What I find interesting, right... What? 9,000? Is it the same one as before? I can't remember. Contacts. The sold out. Right. Speed. It's very, very fast. Hmm. Two minutes past. So I'm guessing that's when they detected us. So let's see what happens uh, with about an hour. 9,011 kilometers per second. That's something I've not seen from the Croc Cigar. Now that leads me to... Uh, right, it's moving away from us, okay. So we're going to change our target away from it towards the inner system. Let's find out what they're hiding. We are fully loaded. Fuel is somewhat on the low side, but we'll may do. How long went by? Right an hour. Let's try five days, see what happens. If anything pops up, of course the time increments will slow down. We have area PD on, which is fantastic. So within about uh, 3 million kilometers, we'll have our air maps to take care of anything. Uh, 10 times less than that, at 300,000 kilometers, we'll have our beams, our lasers to take care of that. We have our ASMs about 50 million kilometers, perhaps. I think it's about 50 million kilometers to their range. So not the greatest of amount of range, uh, but we are a hardy fleet. I am very interested to see what is towards the inner system. If they're protecting a previously unknown homeworld, then that's something we need to find out about, because these Croxigar are... they're very different. I've not seen this class of ship before. Though it is an 8,200 ton vessel, as like the ones in the Proxima Centauri system, though they were armed. Right, contact has technically been lost. Okay, fair enough. Keep on moving. Now, I do wish I had my broadswords on hand. They would have been able to catch up, well, catch up to that thing in time. But, um, yes, they were lost in the Proxima Centauri engagement, which is, um... A shame, they will be rebuilt in the future. Hmm. I do need to uh, go over my new designs. I think we are going to design something of a battle cruiser, possibly a carrier vessel, though carrier vessels are. they're double edged. I mean, yes, they can support these small vessels that uh, do have speed on missiles, etc, etc. But um, ultimately, you're spending thousands of tons. That's it's kind of like dead weight. If the fighters are shot down, then that becomes dead weight to the ship. As you can imagine, with a 20,000 ton vessel, say you spend about 5,000 tons of that on hangars, you've wasted about 25% of the ship already. So we'll have to see. I might go for carriers being... Possibly lightly armoured, maybe shielded. Having shielded carriers would actually make quite a bit of sense. Okay, contact has been lost, that's fine by me. As long as we can move towards the inner system in time, that's good. Right, we're about to enter the orbit of... Uh, oh no, we're already in the orbit of a few, aren't we? Well, we're approaching the orbit of Tau Ceti 7, I do believe that is. Approaching the inner core. Hmm. 
Are we going to have bets whether we're going to find a world here? <laughs> that would be, uh, particularly scary. Mostly because I'd have to contend with another population of Croxigar. And the Croxigar are vicious assholes. Absolutely vicious. We've not quite beaten them into submission yet. We almost finished off their fleet in Proxima Centauri. Though with the sheer amount of fire coming from their home worlds, uh, yes. We shall return in the future, but we shall return once we have either better technology or our ship that is capable, our invasion ship that is capable of... Uh, shit. Right. Okay. There's something in this system. It's gotta be another home world. Transvaal class. Hmm. And they're all the same design. That's rather scary. Indeed. Okay. Yeah, Boa. So they're Africans, kind of. Well, Dutch Africans. Hmm. How are you in this system? Alright, so we have three Transvaal classes on them. Now these are different, aren't they? They were, like, the previous one, was that a Transvaal or was that a Soldat class? Hmm. Intriguing. <laughs> ah. I forgot about that. Okay. Well, we'll find out shortly what they are, don't... Won't we? I'm gonna be somewhat, um... Worried if they are... Warships. Which they've got to be warships. What else would they be? The Croxigar seems to have some kind of hard-on for like 8,200 ton vessels. Right. Ah, ha ha, yes, they are more than likely warships, yes, they are. I'm pretty sure, without a doubt, they are warships. Okay, let's get up a uh, weapon rangers. Military. Display 2. Was it display 2? Yes, there we go. Weapon range. Okay. They're coming close to Terraria range, so we'll keep on moving. How long did we have go by? Right, an hour. So we know they're capable of 4,913 kilometers per second, so we know they are very much alike to the Proxima Centauri classes. Which is good, we know we can defeat them. That's very good. Hmm. It does raise questions, though. It does raise a lot of questions of how they are here. I mean, unless they have a second world. We must get to the center of the system. We must find out what is there. It's got to be a home world or some kind of world. We'll find out. Hmm. Though we have our improved missiles this time, so this is fantastic for us. Considering that we defeated the Croxigar in the Proxima system with uh, missiles of a previous generation, now we have the Terraria and the Astarte. They are very much improved and much superior to the Croxigar. Okay, hello, there's a sold out. Oh. They're within range. Okay. ECM Shram. Targeting. Reloading. Okay. We flew right by them. Interesting. Right. Let's have an hour go by. I do believe we have missiles out. I've seen some launches here. Oh no, wait a minute. 
The Hastasi has much, much improved range, doesn't it? It has 12 million range. That's significantly further. Sorry, farther. What do we have launched? Terrarii. Okay. I'm guessing their targets is one of the Transvols. That's fine. Okay, let's uh, change these. What? Okay, there we go. Right. Talsati. Right, so... Ooh. 1,200? I don't know. Let's see. Six times is it? My, quite a bit, doesn't it? Hmm. Yes. I mean, do we want them to launch at such a distance? Perhaps we do. It would have been too bad. Hmm. Then again, I do run the risk of launching a hell of a lot of AMMs. Which could be quite bad. Right. Perhaps we should wait? Um, we'll go on a little bit. We'll keep on with the 300 for the time being. I'm probably doing really bad maths. My maths is pretty terrible. And it's even worse when I'm recording. Okay. Right, so we know that we need to print a number and it will be times by 10,000 for the range. Targeting. Okay. Hmm. 25 seconds. Now that could be between our reloads and launchers. I'm not entirely sure. Okay. Right. So yes, uh, 1200 is the correct number that we're going to need. God damn it, stay on the right system, you mofo. Okay, 1200. And that one. 1,200. There we go. That should change things out to be fine. Right, there we go. That should work out to be pretty effective. Now, we're only launching a few of them, which does confuse me quite a little bit. Fucking stay on the right system, my friend! Okay, tell Sati. Why are we only launching a few? Right, they're targeting there. How odd. You're well within range, so why do you not fire? Hmm. Perhaps we'll hold on then for the time being. What are they targeting? The uh, 001. Now, we could change to something else, but I think I'll keep with this then. If we can keep hold of these missiles, then that's not too bad. Though we're only launching groups of ten, aren't we? I really feel there's some kind of world in this system. There's got to be. So we are going to continue to head that way. I am somewhat worried about fuel, but... We do have more pressing concerns, and we could always make it out of this system to the uh, Phoenician system, which is not far away, where we'll have fuel, and if needs be, I could have a basilisk uh, pulled over here, or pulled to them, or whatever is needed. Okay, let's go for two minutes. In all fairness, we could um, chase them down fairly easily. We do have that speed on them, as well as this range... So we would be able to catch them pretty quickly. It's just I'd rather be out of missile range. 
Right, I, I would like it to stay on what I'm looking at. Okay, we have launchers. There we go. Okay, so they're staying out to about 23.4 million kilometers out. I think I'm going to save some Trarii just in case we encounter something spaceborne, maybe like a station or something like that, I don't know. Or perhaps we find something larger, who knows. Okay, how long went by? 10 seconds. Now that does make me wonder if they're launching missiles, which they most likely are. So I reckon, I guess we're going to have to just go for them, aren't we? Right, contacts. We'll go for the first one. There we go. Move towards it. And I think we'll have the other launchers open up, or the other ships open up. Okay. Hmm. We'll have them target separate ships. Open fire. At least this way, we'll be able to get those missiles out, and they won't all be clustered together where they can be hit. It should make it a little bit more difficult for the Croxigar military ships to target us. I'm happy though that our uh, Trarii's move a lot faster than our older generations that moved about... Um, what did they move about 25? Was it 25 or 20? I think it might have been about 25. Something in that region. Something kind of in that area. Right. How long is going by here? Five seconds. Hmm. We'll have 30 seconds go by and see where we end up. I do apologise if this turns out to be like a 20 episode long engagement, that's just how it works with the times, I do apologise. If I could make it run faster than I bloody would. Ah, my. Okay. Crusaders open fire, well, they're reloading. Hmm. The enemy doesn't move that quickly. So it is only a matter of time to the Terraria's hit. And if we move towards them at 6,000 kilometers per second, we're just in, well, decreasing the amount of time towards the target, so that's fine by me. Okay. I expect we're going to see the enemy missiles approaching at some point in the future. I would be shocked if we weren't. Okay, if I could just have it go in like um, increments, I like said, hey, just have it move at this increment. Don't stop for launching, reloading, whatever. Hmm. I do wonder if there's some kind of setting for that. Right, five seconds. Missile launch. Let's see. Hmm. Yes, I do imagine there's something in there that could be quite helpful. I'll have to figure it out in the future. Though this uh, session is only going to be about half an hour, I don't really have the time at the moment for a longer session. I do apologise. But I did just want to get some more Aurora uploaded today. Well, tomorrow, sorry. You, you'll see. <laughs> it should be uploaded for tomorrow. And then hopefully tomorrow I'll have some more time to record and then I can keep some more Aurora being uploaded. Right, more launchers. Okay. We do have a significant range, so I don't believe they'll get out of that range. Though they could do. I don't know. We'll see. But anyway, guys, thank you so much for watching, and do not forget to subscribe. And until next time, you have been you, I have been me. Goodbye.